is that it is designed to achieve a positive carbon outcome considering whole of life emissions during construction and the bodied emissions during the 50 years of operation. The car park features the installation of 10 electric vehicle charging spaces, which supports transport's goal of encouraging more customers to purchase low emission vehicles and preparing the New South Wales road network for a low emission future. The installation of electric vehicle chargers helps to encourage mode shift towards electric vehicles. The New South Wales government is committed to increasing the uptake of electric vehicles, allowing more customers to benefit from cheaper running costs and creating a cleaner, quieter and more sustainable future. As Queensland's largest road infrastructure project with an intrinsic sustainability focus, there was stringent criteria around the erosion control works incorporating 1 million plus square metres of self-sustaining revegetation solution. Manufactured in Queensland from recycled and sustainably sourced Australian waste timbers, VE Gromat provided a sustainable revegetation solution with the ability to deliver on best value principles. The CR2SM project is a prime example of vital products supporting sustainable development. The Moriado Bypass project was delivered for major reports Victoria, cooperation from Ecologic, Department of Transport, and the contractor was a joint venture between McDonald Owl and Deckmill. These uh, noise walls in the project span about 32,000 square meters, roughly, and in that um, span we have saved up to, we think, around 550 tonnes of curbside recovered plastic that would have otherwise ended up in Australian landfills. We have also created local jobs, utilised local tooling, and we think we provide a circular economy story like no other, because everything we manufacture in this space is also 100% recyclable at the end of its life. And we're thrilled to be able to provide this case study for this year's ISC Impact Report. At SiteHive, we provide real-time environmental management for today's world. The main objectives of the case studies across all of the projects using us uh, for the ISC submissions this year were really to reduce the impact of construction noise, dust, vibration and water on communities, on-site teams and the environment, creating a collaborative environment where communities and stakeholders are informed, enabled and empowered by transparent and easy to understand data. We wanted to change environmental monitoring from an analogue, reactive, laborious process using innovations in digital technology and sensors to enable a proactive approach to managing environmental impact, which can be applied across all of the company's portfolio. We wanted to address additional issues caused by operating during COVID by enabling quick and confident decisions to be made remotely, well informed by rich and contextual information contributing to COVID safe work sites. We're really pleased to be involved with the Infrastructure Sustainability Council and their um impact stories this year. Uh, I think one of the, we've had many different impacts since we've been, since we've been operating, but the one that perhaps I'm most proud of and I think is most significant in terms of building momentum across the industry is the development of sustainability professionals. So from our humble, humble beginnings in 2017, we now employ approximately 20 people, uh, met most of whom are dedicated entirely to sustainability who have graduated from sustainability courses and who are beginning to make a difference within the workplace, uh, within the economy and within, within society at large. And what this says to me is that sustainability professionals have never been more valued. Responsible Steel brings a much needed credible label to the building industry for the responsible sourcing and production of steel. It provides a simple and robust framework for stakeholders in the steel value chain to meet their climate change and broader sustainability objectives, as well as to manage risk in their supply chains. Bluescope's Port Kembla Steelworks is currently undergoing certification to the standard. We are committed to achieving certification as it aligns with our broader sustainability outcomes, including climate action and our 2050 net zero goal, responsible products and supply chains, and strong communities. So for the 2021 Impacts Report, we highlighted two separate initiatives. The first one was our ecological value methodology, and we developed this with our ecologist from Boffer Miskell. 
where we were assigning numerical value to both our sites and the ecological enhancements that we were proposing to be able to select the most impactful and long-lasting options. And this enabled us to demonstrate a 33% net ecological value enhancement in our design rating. The driver for this initiative was really around being able to focus our ecological enhancements directly on site to better benefit the local environment and our neighbours, rather than offsetting somewhere far away. And since this work has informed our ecological management plan, we have captured and re-released in safer areas 50 eels and 74 copper native copper skinks. Using waste and infrastructure to support the circular economy, we worked with suppliers to utilise a 100% recycled asphalt for a temporary car park on the Regency Road to Pym Street project. This helps industry see what is possible for incorporating recycled materials into infrastructure. Additionally, this was the first infrastructure project in South Australia to apply soft plastics in asphalt on an arterial road. With project support, Downer went on to, to develop an EPD, the first initiative of its kind in Australia, along with its inclusion in the ISC materials calculator, allows projects to compare asphalt products and quantify benefits associated with greener mixes.